Ever wonder why airports don't have a gym because running around with luggage is a workout in itself? Welcome aboard! Today we're taking a humorous journey into the not-so-funny world of airport scams. It's important to remain vigilant, as these con artists are as crafty as they come. So, while we share a laugh or two, remember the serious undertone of these tales. Now, let's dive into the shady world of airport scams. Buckle up folks, this is going to be a bumpy flight. Welcome to Global Travel Venture! Ever found a $100 bill on the floor and thought it was your lucky day? Think again! Now imagine this, you're strolling through the airport, minding your own business, probably daydreaming about the sunny beaches you're about to hit, when suddenly you spot a crisp Benjamin Franklin looking up at you from the floor. Your heart skips a beat. You're already spending it in your head, maybe on a fancy cocktail or a souvenir, but hold on, not so fast. In the world of airport scams, this could be the start of what we call the distraction scam. It's a classic yet clever ruse that's been duping travelers for years. The scammer, let's call him Sly Sam, strategically drops the money near you. The sight of cash, especially a large denomination, is enough to distract even the most focused among us. As you bend down to pick up the bill, Sly Sam's accomplice, Sneaky Pete, swoops in. And just like that, while you're distracted by the promise of easy money, Sneaky Pete skillfully lifts your wallet or passport from your pocket or bag. By the time you realize your belongings are missing, Sly Sam and Sneaky Pete are long gone, probably onto their next unsuspecting victim, and you're left with a $100 bill that, let's be honest, you can't even be sure is real. It's a tough lesson to learn, but scams like this happen more often than you might think. So, how can you avoid falling prey to this scam? The answer is simple. Be aware of your surroundings, keep your belongings secure at all times, and don't let unexpected windfalls distract you. If you do spot some cash on the ground, resist the temptation to pick it up, or at the very least make sure you secure your belongings before you do. Remember, in an airport, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Don't let the prospect of a quick buck make you an easy target for Sly Sam and Sneaky Pete. The moral of the story? Don't let a Benjamin Franklin on the floor turn into a robbery. You've landed, you're tired and all you want is a cab, but beware of the cab acadabra trick. Imagine this, you've just stepped off the plane, your luggage in tow and your mind set on a hot shower and a comfy bed. Suddenly, you're swarmed by a horde of cab drivers, each one more insistent than the last. One of them seems friendly enough and his rate is surprisingly low. You think, well, why not? And hop in. Welcome to the world of the fake taxi scam. These scam artists are pros. They're fluent in the art of deception, posing as genuine taxi drivers to lure weary travelers into their trap. Once you're in their clutches, they'll take you on a wild ride, and, and not the fun kind. Some may drive you around in circles, racking up an exorbitant fare while you unsuspectingly enjoy the scenic route. Others might take you to completely unfamiliar areas, far from your intended destination. You're left stranded in an unknown place, with your wallet significantly lighter. And then there are those who take it a step further. They'll insist on helping you with your luggage only to disappear with it the second you turn your back. Your belongings, your souvenirs, your precious memories, poof, gone in a cloud of exhaust fumes. It's a nasty trick and one that's unfortunately common in many tourist hotspots around the world. But don't let this scare you into never traveling again. Instead, arm yourself with knowledge and a healthy dose of skepticism. Always opt for licensed taxis or reputable ride-hailing services. Check for official identification and make sure the meter is working before you set off. And if something feels off, trust your gut. It's better to be safe than sorry. So next time you find yourself in a foreign land, remember this. Not all who approach you with a friendly smile are your friends. And definitely, not all who honk are legit taxi drivers. Remember, not all that glitters is gold and not all who honk are legit taxi drivers. Free Wi-Fi? More like fee Wi-Fi. Now, we all love a good deal, right? But when it comes to Wi-Fi, free is not always free. Here's the scoop. You just landed after a long flight, your data is running low, and you're desperate to update your social media or check your email. You search for a Wi-Fi network and bingo. You see one with the name Free Airport Wi-Fi. Sounds like a lifesaver, doesn't it? But hold on to your digital horses. This is where our sneaky scammers step in. They set up fake Wi-Fi networks, often with names that sound legit, like free airport Wi-Fi, passenger Wi-Fi, or fast internet here. They're banking on your desperation to connect. And when you do, they get access to your device, your personal information, your social media accounts, your emails, even your bank accounts. 
Scary, right? It's like inviting a vampire into your house. Once they're in, it's a buffet. And what's on the menu? Your personal and financial information. This scam is particularly dangerous because it's not just about stealing your money, it's about stealing your identity. And trust me, you don't want to spend your vacation dealing with identity theft. So how do you stay safe? First, always verify the official airport Wi-Fi network. It's usually posted somewhere in the airport or you can ask an airport staff. Second, use a virtual private network or VPN. This tool encrypts your data making it harder for scammers to access your information. And third, avoid doing sensitive tasks like online banking on public Wi-Fi. Remember, just because the Wi-Fi is free doesn't mean it won't cost you. As the old saying goes, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. So the next time you see free airport Wi-Fi, think twice. It might cost you more than just your data. A helping hand at the airport? It might just be reaching for your wallet. Imagine this, you're at the airport, juggling a cup of overpriced airport coffee in one hand, a novel you picked up from the bookstore in another, and a carry-on suitcase that's packed to the brim, suddenly a kind soul appears offering to relieve you of your burdensome luggage. You breathe a sigh of relief, thinking, what a nice person. But hold on to your boarding pass because this could be the start of the bag helper scam. In this scam, the helper will carry your bag a few feet, maybe even all the way to your check-in counter or cab, and then demand a hefty tip for their services. And when I say hefty, I mean they might ask for enough money to buy a round-trip ticket to Hawaii. Not really, but it's a lot. They'll insist that it's customary, that everyone tips this way, or that they're an official airport employee. Sometimes they'll even become confrontational or threatening. And there you are, stuck in a foreign airport, unsure of local customs, and just wanting to get to your destination without any hassle. So you pay up and they walk away with a smirk on their face and a wad of your vacation money in their pocket. In some cases, they might not even wait for you to agree to their help. They'll just swoop in, grab your bag, and start walking. Before you know it, you're in the middle of a scam without even knowing how you got there. So how do you avoid the bag helper scam? It's simple politely but firmly decline any unsolicited help with your luggage. If you're unsure, look for official airport staff. They'll be wearing uniforms, have ID badges, and won't demand tips for helping you with your bags. So folks, remember, no good deed goes unpunished, especially at the airport. Now that we've journeyed through the dark side of airports, let's illuminate the path to safe travels. It's time to arm ourselves with knowledge. Because folks, knowledge is power. And when it comes to avoiding scams, it's our superpower. First up, let's talk transportation. Now, we've all been tempted by the allure of a quick, convenient ride. But remember our friend, the fake taxi scam? Let's not let that happen to us. Opt for official transportation services. Look for licensed taxis, prearranged shuttles, or public transport. Do your research before you land. Know the average fare from the airport to your destination. If a deal seems too good to be true, it probably is. Next, be aware of your surroundings. Scammers often rely on the element of surprise, creating distractions to catch you off guard. Don't fall for it. Keep your belongings in sight at all times. If someone approaches you offering unsolicited help, politely decline. Remember, the bag helper scam isn't helping anyone but the scammer. Now, on to the Wi-Fi scam. We're all guilty of seeking out free Wi-Fi like a bloodhound on a scent. But friends, not all Wi-Fi is created equal. Some networks are traps set by scammers. So how do we navigate this digital minefield? Use secure, password-protected networks. If you must use public Wi-Fi, avoid accessing sensitive information like your bank details. Consider using a VPN, a virtual private network, for added security. And let's not forget about the distraction scam where someone distracts you while their accomplice pilfers your belongings. To avoid this, keep a firm grip on your belongings at all times. Don't let strangers distract you with elaborate stories or dramatic scenes. Stay focused, stay alert. Now you might be thinking, this is a lot to remember, and you're right. But don't worry, we've got a handy trick up our sleeves. It's called the three C's. Caution, check, and confirm. Be cautious in unfamiliar environments. Check your surroundings and belongings regularly. Confirm the legitimacy of services before using them. And finally, trust your gut. If something feels off, it probably is. Don't let fear of seeming rude or paranoid stop you from protecting yourself. After all, it's better to be safe than sorry. Remember, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Or in this case, a ton of lost luggage and money. All right, we've covered the scams, given you the tools. 
Now let's wrap this up with a laugh. Let's take a quick flight back through memory lane, shall we? We kicked off with the popular distraction scam, where the con artist's sleight of hand is quicker than the blink of an eye. Then we taxied into the fake taxi scam, where the only thing more fake than the taxi is the driver's sense of direction. We then soared high into the Wi-Fi scam, where the only thing being downloaded faster than your emails is your bank balance. And who can forget the bag helper scam? That's when your luggage gets a five-star treatment, all while your wallet gets a one-star review. But don't worry, we didn't just leave you hanging on the tarmac of despair. We equipped you with the best anti-scam strategies like your very own in-flight safety manual. Remember, awareness is your seatbelt, caution is your oxygen mask, and a healthy dose of skepticism is your emergency exit. So, as we prepare for landing, let's remember that the best defense against these scams is a good sense of humor and a sharp mind. Keep your wits about you, stay vigilant, and you'll be scam-free. And remember, the only scam we want you falling for at the airport is the overpriced food. Until next time, safe travels, folks.